are back. And if you're joining us right now, we are getting our third conversation for this morning started. And as we told you in the beginning of our show, we have a very exciting topic. We are talking about Belize, one of Belize's most iconic brands, and we are joy, uh, and that is a Marie Sharps. So we have representatives from Marie Sharps Fine Food Limited, as well as the iconic woman behind the brand yeah. itself, Marie Sharp, <laughs> who is the owner of Marie Sharps Fine Food Limited. Good morning. morning. Good morning, Miss Marie. Good morning to you all, and morning, Belize. Then, then, they, they, you know, there is a song that says, "No wait till I'm on it, be till I eat good." Marie, you're good. <laughs> you're good. Forty years of uh, Marie shops in Belize, and uh, we definitely would want to uh, relive that story. Miss Marie, you you've came a long way. Let's start out there. How did you get started with this business? <laughs> That is a very, very long story, mm. but um, I can tell you uh, quickly that um, I worked for three years out of my kitchen at home mm -hmm. because I had a full-time job. I was an executive secretary with the Citrus Company of Belize. Okay. I worked for them like about 10 years. And so I was doing this on my spare time, on weekends, nights, and um, I wasn't certain of what was going to happen because the Belize market really looked grim. Hmm. So, um, you know, I kept my job and I started working just at home, making pepper sauce and on weekends going out with my, I made my refried beans and my tortilla chips and go out from door to door, store to store, giving out tasters, asking them to put some on the shelves. Yeah. Um, Belizeans, I think on a whole, have a mental block as far as Belize produce. Um, ingredient um, products mm -hmm. they think that nothing made here is good it has to come from outside mm. US or wherever so um, they had a I had a struggle there mm -hmm. and it wasn't until I think it was like in about maybe 1985 when I sold my first one pallet I sent to the US mm. and I took that and I blew it up in the media <laughs> Marie Sharp's now in the U.S. I didn't say it was only one pallet, though I just... Just Marie say Sharp's now in the U.S.? Now in the U.S. <laughs> and it's almost like the Belizean said, well, the Americans like it. Yeah. Then maybe it's good. <laughs> because I could actually see my local market start lifting its head. Mm -hmm. And I could see my local market started to climb. Yeah. And then I felt good. And then I said to myself, well, this looks good now. And I started to push. Yeah. So... That was when I told uh, the company, I said, you know what? Find yourselves another secretary because I'm gone. <laughs> and but then I, I started doing it full time. Yeah. And, you said, and you know, you said you started off in your kitchen. How is it, uh, the, how is it that you came up with the recipe? And uh, how are you confident that this, was the, the, that this recipe and this product was Kay. the one? Um, they're all my, my um, creations. Mm -hmm. I made from carrots. I made from carrots and cabbage, I made from papaya, I made from banana, I made all different mixtures of pepper. Mm -hmm. And then I started giving away to my friends. We had a lot of friends visiting the company. Mm -hmm. And, you know, I would ask them, you know, what you think, which one. And I found, quickly found out that the, the, the preferred uh, sauce was the carrot base. Mm -hmm. And that was when then I did away with the others and I started working on the carrot because mm. that was the one that everybody preferred. Mm -hmm. And actually, one of my friends was the one who said to me, Gal, why you not sell this locally? Mm -hmm. He said, this better than anything that's on the market. So he planted the little seed and I thought about it. I said, you know what? I'm going to try it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That was when I went out and I bought myself three stove, the ones that you put on a counter. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And I bought three pots because I'm going to put one pot on four burners. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And that's how I started. But why even pepper? I mean, mm -hmm. you were already working at, 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 at the citrus place already. You were doing your 10 years. How, in your mind, just like me and Gab just sitting here and <laughs> saying, you know what, let's go make banana shake, man. Yeah. <laughs> but why banana shake? And then why pepper? Why pepper? Uh, there was a medical officer in Belize City. Uh -huh. I don't know. I think you are too young to remember him, but his name was Dr. Gordillo. Mm -hmm. And he used to make a pepper sauce. And one of my sisters called me and she said, why don't you plant some peppers for Dr. Gordillo? He said he can't find any peppers on the market. So we had just inherited the farm. Yeah. So I said, oh, no, no big deal. I went and I planted without yeah. consulting Dr. Gordillo. 
<laughs> so four months later, because peppers are, are cash crops. I mean, the four months the peppers are ready. Yeah. I came with my pickup full of peppers, and Dr. Gordillo goes, Ay, ha, si yo solo un poquito. I said, oh, my God. <laughs> and here I am with a pickup pick full of pepper. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> so what was I supposed to do with it? I mean, I can go to the market, and maybe somebody will buy me half a bag or yeah. a bag. Or yeah. Nobody's going to buy a lot. Mm -hmm. So I went back home with it, and then my husband goes, well, what are you going to do with that? I said, well, I won't throw it away, and I won't let it go to waste. I took out my little home blender mm -hmm. and started crushing peppers like crazy. Wow. <laughs> and going through blenders, because yeah. I was asking them to do what they, they not, weren't made to do. Yeah. And uh, putting salt and putting it into, into pails, and very soon my husband goes, well, the cars can't fit in the garage anymore. It's all pails. What are you <laughs> going to do with that? I said, I don't know, but it's not spoiling. Leave it right there. <laughs> that was so how that's how you got started. That's how I got started. Then one night I came home and started playing around with the different sauces. And that was it. But and that know, was it. But you know what the, that all of that says to me is mm -hmm. that even from the beginning, you, it, it strikes me that you, you seem like a very determined person. And that, uh, that of course... Uh, I think is what has been able to carry the, 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 the pepper sauce to make it grow for all of these years. So um, when it really became like a business for you, what, uh, or what was that process when you decided to dedicate your full time to it? Well, it was, it was a big change because um, during that time, my husband built me my first factory on the farm, mm -hmm. which was only a small building, like 30 by 45, okay. um, cement. And when I went in, I said, what am I going to do in this huge building? <laughs> All I had was three stoves. Yeah. Each stove had two burners, and now my pots are grown. Yeah. And um, I was cooking still on pots. Yeah. Um, my filler he made for me. He just took a piece of stainless steel and made like a U, yeah. like a big U, uh -huh. and covered both ends, and put some three holes at the bottom, yeah. and put a... a Faucet, and, that was and I had three girls filling from a faucet, uh -huh. and then I had a little labeler that looked like a little typewriter on the desk. Yeah, and you just step and they put a bottle, you step on it, and it turns it and picks up the label, another and one, that's and it. step. And that's, a, that's how it got started. That's, and that's how it all progressed from there to there. Um, my accounting system was, was a problem, mm -hmm. because I was on that. the farm. And at that time, there was no electricity, there was no telephones, there was nothing. So I was kind of like shut off from being able to do anything. So I had to hire a girl, put her in my home, and she was running the, the books for me. Uh -huh. And my husband took calls because I, I didn't have any... to. to to, to get light, mm -hmm. we had a big light plant, one of those big old things, you know, mm -hmm. that you go, <laughs> and you go, tuku, 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 until it starts. Yeah. And that was how things it, got, that was how it progressed. Yes. You know, the, the, interesting to note, because let's fast forward now to today's day, Miss mm -hmm. Marie. You're number one nearly across the world. Yes. You, how far uh, can we find your product? What part of the world can we find Marie oh, my. Australia. Mm? <laughs> Australia. Mm -hmm. <laughs> we are in Australia. We are in Taiwan. We are in Japan. Japan is my largest market. What? what? Um, we are in Singapore. We are in Germany. We are in Lebanon, Kuwait. Um, we are in South, South Africa. We are in um, Singapore. We are in um, Korea. Mm -hmm. We are in um, Switzerland, Holland, Iceland. What? All over. Um, <laughs> we are in. Oh, what UK. about South America? In, in the U.S., we are we are in U.S. We are getting there big. Mm -hmm. But Could you know, you? speaking of the U.S., because then now this one uh, this one struck me and uh, simply because. Uh, this lady is actually with well, uh, well respected across the world mm -hmm. because we know, or actually we've heard, that uh, Hillary Clinton, mm -hmm. who, who was the former first lady of the U yeah. United States of America, ran for president, mm -hmm. and uh, in in what 2016, yes. right? Yeah. She uh, had made mention that one of her favorite pepper is actually Marisha. Yes. What What was your feel when you heard that? Um. 
I don't know if you remember um, Ambassador Bruno. He was mm -hmm. an ambassador f to, from the U.S. to Belize. Mm -hmm. uh, he was the one who took the pepper sauce. He was one of my biggest ambassadors. He used to travel all over. Everywhere he goes, he used to take my pepper sauce. Yeah. He was the one who introduced it to the Clintons. And then she wrote me a letter. I felt very, very happy. Actually, he, he actually read that letter in Orinjuak, showing people the, you know, what, what you can do if you put yourself to it. Yeah. And um, it made me feel naturally very, what did very she tell proud. You? What did she tell you? Uh, what did I tell who? What uh, did Ambassador? she tell you? Oh, she said that um, she was introduced to the pepper mm -hmm. and she wants me to know that she carries it in her bag because mm -hmm. when she goes to any functions where she has to have a meal mm -hmm. or anything and it's, the meal is not up to scratch, she takes it out and she... She nice that out with yes, Marie Sharps. exactly. <laughs> she makes it palatable with Marie Sharps. And, and you know, <laughs> we're going we're gonna to be talking about um, a range of, of, of the products that, have, that, you know, that you've um, grown um, over the years. Mm -hmm. But quick, before we do that, uh, just quickly, how does it feel to look back uh, at, at 40 years and, and see, knowing where you started, to, see, to achieve the level of success that you have now? What, what, what do you think looking back? Well... Um, actually, I'm very, very proud of our accomplishments, yeah. very proud, because never in my wildest dreams did I think that we would have been uh, so, so successful. Yeah. Um, I know that I insist on having quality products mm -hmm. yep. and good products. Mm -hmm. If it's not good, it's not going to go through my door. It has to be very good. It has to have something that will attract a, a customer. Oh so um, I yes. was, I'm very proud. Mm -hmm. I, I look back on it and I thank the good Lord every day because I never thought that I would live to see what is happening today in my company. Wow. 40 so years after the 40 fact. years. Mm -hmm. Wow. It's 40 years. And of course, I have to say a big thank you to Belizeans mm -hmm. who are today my number one, mm -hmm. right? My yeah. number one customers. Mm -hmm. All the tourists that come to Belize that helped me to really be out there today because yeah. I would say those are my biggest ambassadors. They are your ambassadors the indeed. And, and finally for me, before we move on to Jody, which is your marketing director, this morning we highlighted uh, a, a Belizean woman who, uh, who in, the, in the likes of Dr. Carla Barnett, who is now the Secretary General of, yes, the, uh, of, of CARICOM. Mm -hmm. And that's a big deal for us. Miss Marie, you're celebrating 40 years. You're a you're an icon to women in this country. What, are, what, are your, what is your message to Belizean women? Well, I'd like to um, encourage all the Belizean women to never give up on any dream. You can do it. Yes. You just have to be, put yourself to it, stick in there, and go with whatever your dream is. Never give up. Wow. And you have to have an accomplished, um, pro, uh, an accomplished business. Yeah, excellent. Well, Gava, I'll tell you what, we need to move on now to, uh, to Jody. Jody is on the other side there, and he is actually the marketing director for Marisha Fine Food Limited. Let's, 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 uh, yeah, let's meet Jody because we know that he's got some of these products, and I am ready, ready, ready. <laughs> Jody is here with us. Jody, it's morning. nice to be in with you this morning, bro. And uh, you've got all these fine peppers here. Tell yes. us, you're the marketing director. How easy or how hard is it to market Marisha? Products. Well, it's pretty easy because, you know, Mrs. Sharp has dedicated all her life to quality and uh, consistent quality and bringing the tradition to family's tables for 40 years now. And, um, you know, every time Mrs. Sharp want to, wants to bring out a new product, it's, yeah. it, it's easy. But at the same time, we also need to market as well and um, let um, persons try the different flavors. So, for example, right now, during our 40 years, mm -hmm. we are celebrating. We have a special, very limited edition um, 48 year anniversary hot sauce. Now, Whoa. So, <laughs> with these bottles, we only have um, about over, a little bit over 1800 bottles. So, yeah. it's very limited. Once it's over, it's over. Uh -huh. and there's a very special sauce inside each peppers and it, it's very spicy. It's real? Yes. Man, <laughs> let's make sure we put them up just good. Right? Yeah. All right. So, what, 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 are the, um, uh, what are those that you've got here yes. right now? We also have a new product. We have ventured into the cactus market. Um, oh, gosh. You may be asking what's the difference between cactus and hot sauce. Cactus uh -huh. is much thicker, so it's, it, it has more um, wholesome 
um, part. Mm -hmm. So you guys like to try our cocktail salsa? Well, let's cocktail get it on. Let me, uh, okay. yes. So cocktail salsa, That's which is right. this, right? Yes. All right, so we're going to try the cocktail salsa. So our yes. cocktail salsa has in Moringa, which is a ah. superfood. It has in the cactus, which we call is Cajinil, and mm -hmm. it's mixed with green habanero peppers. I hope and I put a lot. <laughs> <laughs> the spice That's level right. is right. medium. Uh -huh. It's what? It's medium, medium, so it's not that hard. Right. So uh, persons love it with nachos. They love they, they use it with meats, mm -hmm. also with rice. It's very it's a very good addition to any meal that you mm. want a little kick of mm. spice. Mm -hmm. <laughs> mm -hmm. Mm okay. Let me uh, have one more though. Sure, go ahead and see it. See, he loves it. <coughs> one, mm -hmm. Another try, mm -hmm. even though it's burning. Absolutely, it's not. And it, it is not. It is not too spicy. I yes. would say it is medium. It's really good. And it has a really unique flavor. That 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 cactus. Yes. It's mm -hmm. something that you don't. Um, so it's not very common in, in the sense yeah. that you wouldn't just see a, a bottle of, of, of cactus sauce. So that's really awesome. Uh, All right, what else? What else have we got? Yes, <laughs> mm -hmm. I know we have been pushing this for the last month. This Which is I? the red hornet. Oh, oh my goodness, I'm afraid. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so um, right here we have the um, Chef Patrick's lava wing sauce, mm -hmm. the lava sauce. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. This is... Um, so we get to taste that too? Yes, definitely. Yay! So we have very uh, delicious right. wings here with Murray Sharps. Red hornet sauce mixed with mm -hmm. barbecue and some spices. So All right. right. Spice level of this one. The spice, this is the hottest pepper in the line of Marisha. <laughs> 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 and then you, you see, rather than have a sprinkle, they actually have it in something already. Yes. All right. Oh my God. You ready, Gab? Yeah, I know. And, and um, I've never had it. I've never had me it. Me neither. And so if, if, if uh, I see our producer Shanice is in the room, she might have to take over if we can't talk <laughs> after <laughs> eating. All um, right. But let's try these wings. Let's get into it. <laughs> Why? I hope one another set me up. <laughs> no. <laughs> All right. Whew, I just hear. I just heard about it. I just heard about it. All right. Ready? Set. Let's go. I'm going. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. You ready? One, Three, two, two. go. <laughs> so we mix it with a barbecue sauce, so you don't get that really mm. hot. But it's really nice, though, about it. <laughs> my god <coughs> okay i understand all right there we go i, get the I understand <laughs> you guys any water or anything or no you good for now actually mm -hmm. for no. no actually it's good no i like that i like that it was a mix in the sauce because yes. i first get like the little sweetness of the barbecue sauce and then i got that kick yes. of the pepper right what afterwards I, as i as i bit into it you know you know like when you taste my pepper when you know in your bun there is a there is a flavor there is a that's what i tasted Yes. <laughs> mm -hmm. If you like papaya, I like this guy. Mm -hmm. Man. But I could get one more. I could bite one more. No, I don't yeah. think my second okay. bite. Okay. I like pepper, so this is this is, yes. this is all for this is all for me. Mm. Right. I'm I'm, right. I'm one of I'm certainly one of the uh, big I'm part of the forty years because I'm a very religious buyer of <laughs> Marie um <coughs> Marie Sharp's products. Okay. Um, all right. Yeah. It's burning what? my lips, yeah. Yeah, what, sir, so what, what's this? Now, one last but not least, this is a fusion between two of Marie, Marie Sharp's best products, mm -hmm. the sweet pepper sauce and the mango. All right. And we call this the sweet spicy mango wings. Sweet, oh. so sweet spicy, spicy mango, mango wing. wing. So this was like a 6X, mm -hmm. this one is a two and a half, so it doesn't burn. But okay, it's and then this one would be what? One or half an X? This would be by three. Three? Yes. This is a two and a half. About that, so yeah. a bit less, all right. But Woo, yeah, so this one is good to watch this down. One this, right? this, this thing though, and that, remember, it, it, it has barbecue sauce and whatnot, and so you know we diluted somewhat. But yes, let's get to this one go. then. So one. sweet, spicy mango, and we're gonna post the recipes of these wing sa wing sauces later on. Oh, perfect! So you can okay. make at yes. home if you okay. want. But let's let's try the sweet and spicy mango. Great marriage. Yes, guys. But we have. Over, we have 16 different sauces. You mm -hmm. could use it in all your meals here in Belize. Um, when you're traveling as mm -hmm. well, you could take your bottle. You know, Marie Sharps are versatile sauces. You could use it on meats, on mm -hmm. rice, on veggies, on even fruits. Persons put their sweet pepper sauce. So I'll tell you one weird thing that I've done before. Mm -hmm. I put, because I went to a specific store in Spanish Lookout, and we were there to buy ice cream, and they had, Mar and they had the Marie Sharp pepper there. Yes. So I thought probably they wanted to do some kind of a experiment. So I threw my meat out on my ice cream. How it yes. is? <laughs> well, it was spicy. <laughs> but it was nice. Alright, so here we go. These wings are great by the way. I was because mm -hmm. you notice I wasn't talking a lot for the mm -hmm. past couple of seconds. That was because my I was busy eating. Great. Um, love the sauce and just like you said, it's not yes. too spicy, yes. so it's really good. 
Um, so I think I think you could even give kids kids that like that. Yeah. Um, yeah. This, this one is not too bad. Yeah, this bad. one is not too bad. But Mr. Hurt, this 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 is a serious, and this is the newest kid on the block. You said right? Yes. All right. Kid. So I tell you what I want to do because I don't think that I actually got. Uh oh. The, 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 <laughs> the burn, burn, burn from there. So I want to have to taste this one. Right, let's see. Just like that. Huh? Okay. <laughs> all right. All right. So there we go. Come on. Oh, that go. too. Aye, aye. <laughs> all right. So here we go. I'm going to actually taste this because I didn't want it diluted. I've heard so much about it. And I want to make sure that I get the, the taste. Right, right. Okay. So here we go. Three, two. One. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, first, first thoughts. <laughs> All right, now it's coming on. Extremely spicy. <clears throat> yes, and this Extremely is the hottest. Extremely spicy. The hottest. So, Whew, my goodness. So, so, this is, <laughs> so this is hotter than the Belizean heat. Yes. And beware. Yes, this is like 50% um. 50, 50 more hotter than the beware. Oh my goodness, okay, I understand. Yes. Well, you know, the Belize has been asking for something spicier and we gave it to them. <clears throat> mm -hmm. Yep. Here we go, that's the hernet set. So that's the hernet, yes, yes, we actually, yes, we got it, we're catching it again looks on like, camera. Yeah, it looks like you still feel it, oh or if, it's a, if they, you still feel those waves of heat. <laughs> and we would like to end up, we had a slogan competition uh -huh. yes. for 40 years. Mm -hmm. uh, we <clears throat> have the winning slogan, uh, name of the person. Um, the winner of $500 and the slogan competition for Murray Sharps mm -hmm. is um, Anita Centeno. Uh -huh. From right. where? Um, didn't state, but from Facebook, and her slogan was "Mary Sharps, a trademark of every meal," All which right, is true, which course. is indeed true. So she is the winner. Yes. So what's her name again? Anita Centeno. Anita Centeno. Okay. Uh, you're finally hearing it live on Five uh, during this Mary Sharps segment that you are the winner of five hundred dollars because you actually win the slogan competition, and her slogan is. Her slogan is, Mary Sharps, a trademark of every meal. A trademark yeah. of every, every meal. And wow. every meal is right because, I mean, the products are so versatile. You could use them um, all kinds of ways. And, of course, it's not just limited to pepper sauce, as you mentioned. Mm -hmm. There's other, uh, there's so many other different Mary Sharps products. All right. Miss Mary, was, Miss Mary is seeing something. Yes. What, what's that, Miss Mary? Mm -hmm. I'm telling him to, um, to talk about the new sauce. Yes. All right. Yes. The new one. Yes. That so is a special edition and yes, where they can get it. So the special, very limited edition. It could only be bought at the Marie Sharp Factory Depot store. Okay. So you, we can't get it in the stores? Um, maybe. It, but maybe <laughs> it will be at Brody's and Save You as well, but only found at our sales office here in Belize mm -hmm. and at the factory. It, only two places you could get yes. this so far. $10 a bottle, very limited edition. So and the warehouse as well. Yes, That's what Miss Marie is yes. saying. All right. And once again, what's what's special about this one? This one, uh, this this limited edition sauce. Yes, it's aged habanero mixed with the scorpion um, red hornet. Mm -hmm. Very ah. unique mixture, and it has um, cane vinegar. What? Right. <laughs> so vinegar made from sugar cane, so it's very premium. Yeah, yeah very. And you know, yes. and you know, like the next thing that just strikes me, like as you say that, is like the products. <clears> they taste good. They look good, but they're so innovative. You know what I mean? Like they, there's yes. um, all different types of ingredients that. You wouldn't, that sometimes you wouldn't even think to put them but and they come out so great all right yes. well um guys this has been excellent for us my mouth is actually burning my lips are burning as we speak <laughs> it is so nice to have you guys in 40 years of marie shop and we've got our biggest one of our biggest prides in the country miss marie is actually in with us as well and uh, her message to belizean women across the uh, across the world because belizean women across the world never ever give up so thank you guys for joining us thank this you. morning. Oh, again my goodness, congratulations, the, man. Congratulations. Miss Marie, congratulations to you. And I'm sure Belizeans will continue to support you. One of the things that strikes best for me is that she actually got that letter from uh, Hillary Clinton. Yeah, the first lady, from Hillary from Clinton, saying, lady. you know what? She takes that around, around with her everywhere that she goes. And I'm sure you do as well. Thank you for joining us once again. We're about to take our final break. When we come back, we'll be wrapping things up. I need some water. <laughs> we'll be back.